You think about someone. You haven't thought about that person in a really long time. You haven't seen them in a really long time. You think about them. Suddenly, out of the blue, that person calls you, shows up. Is that just a coincidence? So let me ask you a question. Let's say that there were an imaginary rope, okay? A string, a rope. And you were holding on to one end and I was holding on to the other end, okay? Just imagine that you and I each have opposite ends of a rope here, okay? And for a long time, we haven't done anything. We're, all, we're just moving through our lives with this rope. Maybe it's tied on our wrist or something and, or on our belt loop or wherever it is. And we, we don't even remember that there's this string. Then one day, I jiggle the rope on my side. What's going to happen on your side? You feel it, right? You feel the jiggle. So this is, this is what happens. We're connected. It's not a coincidence. I jiggle my rope, you feel the jiggle. Now, you may not be able to articulate it as I felt a jiggle because the rope is not physical or tangible. But these are the energetic bonds that hold us together. You know, how many people here are parents? Raise your hand if you're a parent. Okay, so anybody who's a parent here, have you ever had the experience of knowing, knowing at the exact moment that something was going on with your child, whether something physical, whether something emotional, but just, just knowing that that was the time to pick up the phone and call? Anybody ever had that experience? Yeah. So... This happens all the time. It happens with siblings all the time. But interestingly, it happens with twins even more. So the tighter the bond is energetically, and when you think about twins, you think literally they spent nine months together in utero. So the bond on a deep, deep cellular energetic level it's going to be very, very strong. All the time, these sorts of things happen. So the more deeply connected you are to someone, the more that's going to happen. Chances are it's not going to happen with just some random person. But even with random people, we do have, we've got cords. And if you're sensitive enough, I mean, Pooja Swamiji tells stories all the time about, and I've witnessed it so many times, where he'll take somebody's name and they'll call like before he finishes the sentence. And it's not a twin, it's not his mother, it's not a chi his child, he doesn't have any children. In that case, it is really just a random person. But because his energetic power is so strong, his jiggling is so strong that even if the string that connects you isn't that strong, the person on the other end is going to feel it because the jiggling is so strong. That his energy is that powerful. But I think in general with most of us, it happens much more with people we're really close to. But yeah, this is, we're connected. We're connected. I think of you over here. I jiggle the string over here. You feel it over there. You call me. It's beautiful because it reminds us how, how connected we are.